Burning Smash will deal the damage. Well, I'm your ATM, not gonna land the flicker final slash, even after a good angle, as Onik identifies that. Gets out for now. Yeah, it means that Onik. Oh, we gotta be very happy about that. They're gonna take the They're gonna take the buff. It will be given to Albert for now. And Albert has turned into uh definitely a hyper carry at 13 minutes. Another Lord fight ensues. Positioning themselves. I'm your ATM. Oh, look at that. Catching two. But then comes the, divide, uh, the time's journey. Keyboy going to be taken out because of that. Just like in the previous clash. Now they want to go for Albert. But into the back lines. Boots is going to be there. Even after the heavy spin, there's no damage because Owl is in trouble. Owl taken out. Now onto the back lines. Albert eventually taken out by Kel VJ. In comes the cavalry as I'm your ATM punished by Sans. Kyrie and Boots will be staying in, in front. And Rindo will have to back down for now. Onik. Gonna be securing this Lord if they're fast enough. But they don't know where Rindo is. Rindo gonna show himself. Miko taken out so easily by Boots and Sons. It's actually just the ultimate from the Vixana that finished it off. It's Sans just dipping his toes back to the Lord right now. Lord versus Lord action. Sans to take it. Onik are gonna be getting the second Lord of the game. It's very crucial uh, uh, as well. Slowly inching their way towards the bottom lane for now. Oh, Kairi will spot out an orange buff. Oh, yummy! More and more farm difference for them. All the while, Albert is just waiting for another buff. We'll get, the, we'll get some farm. Heading into the top lane. And they will spot out the purple buff. Oh my goodness. Onyx is just getting everything at this point. Now can you defend? Well, Burning Splash, they still have a lot of uh, crowd control. And as long as Owl is kept intact, has the flicker now, gonna be they should be okay when it comes to the damage output, damage department. LVJ risking his life just snatching the ultimate from Suns. They still want to go. All the Diggy Bombs, they don't care at all because they have Radiant Armors now from Onik. Keyboy with the Immortality is now facing adversity under... The base of Burning Splash, not a care in the world. But Onik will be disciplined. And they're not gonna fight for now. They're gonna be waiting for their turn again. Yeah, 7k lead for uh, for Onik. They got those two inhibitor turrets over the, uh, the top and the mid. You see the bombs being scattered out here by Miko. Just to make sure that uh, Onik does not have that space. Right now, 16 minutes in, with that maybe like one more Lord take here for Onik. This could create so much pressure here. Albert's already been scaled up. And the boy going in for that uh, concealed play. Does not get anything. Gets the tug onto one. There's the time's journey. Albert gonna get that heavy spin inside. He's gonna get taken down here. Onik, one man down here. They don't have their damage dealer. I think for Burning Flash, they're gonna oh they're gonna commit for more here. A ATM just looking in for that final slash, and he's gonna commit. Boy, get taken down. Sans as well from the back size is gonna get taken down. That is gonna be three for the price of none. And Burnex <laughs> Flash gonna be able to take some in. And that means that Burnex Flash could just go for the straight push. And we can see it through the replay, right? See the final slash hitting onto two, forcing flickers out of Onik. And now formation from Onik is already in shambles. And big props to Rindo finding. Uh, Albert and punishing that carry that only had the flicker and already the flicker was out and it's mainly because of the fire slash the combination they were able to run down Onik as well with a time's journey not a care in the world 
And Burning Flash will only get a turret afterwards, but that's already massive. And this means that the game has, you know, tipped its skills in favor of no one at this point. Te well, technically speaking, it's still Onyx like leading because of the inhibitors, but overall, the momentum has shifted, and this will be an even game for now. Yeah, the gold, the, the gold lead, right? Like it's going back and forth here between uh, Burnex Flash and uh, Onyx, right? This is gonna be the second enhanced Lord here for for both Burnex Flash and Onyx. It's already at half HP here. Rindo looking to take that in. Kel VJ also has that Detonus welcome. Let's see if ATM will go in for that final slash. He gets tugged in here by Kiboy. Gets in that Tetonus welcome. But Harry's taking a lot of the damage here. The Lord is still up for the taking. It's going to be Rindo picking that up for the side of Burn X Splash. Everybody's really low. A lot of the flickers have been used out. Onik wants to commit to this fight. But they're not going to go for more. They got what they wanted. And they're still alive and kicking in this game. That's going to be Burn X Splash equalizing the gold right now. 54k for both sides. We have ourselves a game. And now Onik. They're gonna be really scratching their heads over their place that they were that they were doing and Burnix Flasher. With all of the members that they have right now, they're on fire. And at this point, it's a pro their, their problem. Uh, between Carrie versus the Brody, in the latter portions of the game, there's a lot of merit that can be given to the Brody just because of the ultimate. Torn apart memory deals AoE damage. And it's a burst like it's yeah, and you kind of, really if you let, leave it unchecked, well, once I was able to free hit, you've seen that in, in the it flashes, right? Tina. Getting that torn apart memories can even rip apart, like, the back lines here of Onik. That's right. You see Miko laying out the bombs. The Lord's marching in. They should be able to get in this second inhibitor. The rest of the Onik is just waiting in for that proper setup coming out from Kiboy. But right now, they have to face this Lord knocking in the base of Onik. That's going to be the inhibitor down here, ATM. Gonna try to go in for that final slash, not able to do so, gets cancelled out by Kyrie, and they're gonna take what they can get right now as Onyx is able to melt down that Lord. Twilight armor picked up by Keyboy, very important against, uh, I guess, our all of the verse, so that he's able to at least survive for now, but Rindo, wow. Ooh, that's scary. The damage, oh, even kill VJ with the Winter Trudgeon in place! What? He has the immortality there, being popped up in time, Onyx will force this one, Boots! Gonna go in, but look at Al from the backside. He's able to free hit everyone. They get down ATM. Onik gonna try to force this one out. Burnix Flash in for a run as Miko laying down the bombs. Your boy goes in for the flicker. Will he be able to make the pick off as Al still able to rip everybody apart with the torn apart memories? Burnix Flash right now leading in terms of gold. And even the, the dash camera from Kairi's ultimate was dodged. And Onik made a wonderful defense for sure. That's already started by Keyboy. Picking up Rindo and then Kel VJ taking uh, forced, uh, forced with Immortality and then eventually uh, had, had a chance to get out. But Onik had to lose Keyboy once again. 0 oh, 6 at this point. Like, he's landing good shots for sure. But the fact that they're really sacrificing so much just to get something out of Burning Slash is uh, not a good sign. And Onik. Are slowly losing their control of this game. Wow, well, um, yesterday games I've seen uh, very very fast games like uh, probably 15 minute tops and then 17. Like today, uh, for some reason today, every single game that I'm casting, I reach at least like one series that has like a 20 plus minutes games, and it's gonna be here in this match between Burnix Flash and Onik. And honestly, I am expecting that this is gonna be the case, right? Like two of the season teams, a lot of these uh, stellar place players come in and to play here for this uh, first match of the day. And let's see, like uh, it's gonna be the momentum, right? For both Onik and Burnix Flash, whoever takes this in, it's gonna be big. Immortalities are being purchased here, Wolf. And the Lord's gonna get tugged in here by Rindo. It's gonna be a big thing if Onik takes this in. Wonder what Sans is doing on the opposite end. <laughs> oh, they're going for the reset. I think that mm -hmm. Sans wants to knows that he can be uh, snagged mm -hmm. by this Arlot, but Rindo is receiving mm -hmm. a lot of damage. The Lord yeah. hurts now. Oh no, Kyrie. 
Is that the, 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 the suppression? Kylie with the time, the winter charge, and he gets and out. It's going to be safe. Going He's in actually safe for now, and now Burn and Smash are losing fighter, their HP. not able to take anyone in. Wow, this is so well calculated for both sides, but that actually is going to cause Burn and Splash, some of them, to actually recall back to the base. Yeah, but but that's immortality and winter charge from Kyrie. But no divi no time's journey, so that's gonna be massive. Kiba is gonna be feeling confident now. And one more. Man, definitely Kiba confident that after that one. Okay, there is that final slash from ATM. He's very low though. He's trying to go for Albert here. He has the immortality. It's gonna be ATM popping that in. Though, oh, boots. gonna be able to tank up the damage here from Boots. A lot boots, of these immortalities have been burned already. As the rest of the team, it is going to be a one for none exchange. Still, Onik going to be able to get that pick off onto ATM. The one really setting up the place here for Flash. For next Flash. Oh, very important one at all at that. It's going to be Rindo. Going in, KelvyJ with the flicker. Wants to go for the snipe. Not going to find it. Now, Kairi is just going to be controlling this Lord. It's still, it's still pretty even because Rindo is still working on it. And Kyrie's actually pretty low, if you think about it, but of course, this is the Barrett. In comes Boots with the Bravest Fighter, but the ultimate coming up from Diggy stops this madness. Now Boots is going to be taken out. Kel VJ with the damage output, enough for that. Sans wants to go for the back lines. Actually going to be dodged. Nice play coming out from Owl. Instead of backing down, he flickered in, but the base! Oh, it was just the base! Even I did not see that. Nobody. That was a flicker. A very quick one of that. And they will try to... They will be able to defend. That's the thing with Burning Splash's composition, uh, BK. They have a lot of defense. And here's more. Seems like Albert is... <laughs> <laughs> Albert is just uh, too far. They can't do that kind of play. He's actually 11k compared to 8k. So it's a full item and a half. A full item and one half of a lead over his gold main matchup. Whew, that's going to be harsh. Oh, we're running out of uh, solutions now for Burn Splash, but we'll see. I'm your ATM. Once you go for the play, only snags that Vexana ultimate. It'll be gone now. But Final Slash is uh, low, you know, low cooldown ultimate anyway. So that's uh, that gonna be uh, not, not, not so much of a problem for Burning Slash. And Kyrie will just hold on to the Lord for now. Keyboy also threatening. It's uh, I'm your ATM going in forward. Kill VJ wants to put the fight. But it comes Kyrie going for Rindo. He's also receiving some damage from the Nathan. And Nathan actually beating uh, so well. But Boots onto the back lines. Getting so many members of Burn X Flash. Stops the combo. But now we'll have to be running away. No, he can't. He's taken out. That's the damage of the Nathan that we're talking about. And even the Albert is taken out by Miko. Burn X Flash with the punish once more against Sonic. Kyrie. Too early. Okay. That's just the Dexter that, take, that took out. I'm your ATM. And Kyrie, look at that. Owl is now online. And that is enough for Burning Flash to secure that. They took the Lord, they took four kills. And now Onik will have to wait for Boots Keyboy. They don't have the best defense, right? And this is the comeback that we're looking for from Burning Flash. Amazing, amazing place. Amazing base from Burnix Flash. And this is the damage show. And Owl was uh, uncontested in the back lines. Was really hitting. And you have to activate the ultimate. That's the power of the native. And then when you group up together as Onik, you receive so much damage from the normal attack summer from Owl. So you cannot really just, you know, stay in front of that hero. And this is what we're saying about the potential for the native. That's why it's a very strong hero in the metagame right now. And all of a sudden, the lead is erased. Only down now to 3k. I would assume that will be more. Because they are able to push. So, yeah, it's a lot of recovery that British Flash did. And now, again, just like game number one, it's an even game. What? 
is going to happen now for Onik. They definitely cannot. Uh, they they definitely have to respect the damage output of Owl. And with all due fairness, it was Boots that tried to find Owl, but he was punished because of the purify. So it's a it's a very important uh, battle spell to have. And I gotta say, at this point with the four protect one strat of Burnix Flash, they might have the advantage now. I think uh, I think the solution now for Onik is to have someone else to force the purify from Owl. And then the uh, the con the converse, the complete converse of that is that Owl just have to reserve his purify for boots, right? So somebody has to force Owl's purify and make sure that boots will have eventually the the right jump. All of a sudden, it's even. Onik, that started this game with a massive amount of lead, have crumbled. And imagine, we mentioned that Owl is one and a half item behind the Claude. Now it's uh, just 1,000, which is at, at this point, it's nothing because he's full item anyway. So it's li literally nothing at this point. There was a time where Nathan was was not as farmed as Albert, but even then the damage output was already really good. And this is what we've said about like the the nature of a marksman versus the Nathan, because the Nathan, if he picks up the wind of nature, he is safe against the marksman, but uh, other marksmen. But other marksmen facing up against the Nathan, they cannot pick the wind of nature because of the magic damage output. And look at look at how fast they're taking this. This is what we're talking about. The Lord slayed easily by Owl. And we talked about this during the draft, the siege, the objectives. But I'm your ATM. Bad positioning. Immortality pop. They want to go in for Rindo. And they have controlled Rindo at this point. They took out one already. That should be two. Keyboy wants to still fight this. But the big boss, Owl, the Nathan, is already in here. And they have to respect that. And it's Ionic just clearing out the minion waves for now. Oh, that's Keyboy. And Albert clearing out top lane. 20 seconds before Burning Flash's members respawn. And Onik, if you're Onik, you have to really respect that. Owl, look at that. You can just do that like the ultimate. But the turret is taken out in the middle. And as well as top lane, Onik. Oh my goodness, Sans is on the two, has to get out. Good flicker to the left side. Now they baited out KLVJ. KLVJ pops the Winter Truncheon. He's gonna go down anyways. In comes I'm your ATM. Rindo also respawning soon. And that demands the respect of Onik. They will just stay outside of the base for now. Final touch onto Keyboy. Gonna be the truncheon as well. And Keyboy will now be taken out. Oh, not for long. He survives for now. Owl wants to go for the fight. Not gonna hit it. And Sans pops the ultimate just for a, a warning shot against Burning Flash. Nineteen minutes in, they really feel Owl's damage output. Kyrie, look at look at how fast they're taking the the jungle creeps, right? And you don't even need boots, or I'm not saying boots the player, but you don't even need boots now for if you're Nathan. You have the purify, you have the Rafaela to help you out. You also have the, your ultimate, right? So there's a lot of cleanse for this Nathan. Looking really good. This turned out to be a very close series for both Onik and Burnix Flash. Here we go. Slowly waiting for something to happen. At this point, nobody can make the mistake. We also need the immortality. So, uh, a few minutes ago, Rindo lost his immortality as well as uh, I'm your ATM. So I would hedge a bet at 23 minutes or 22. That is when Burning Splash might feel confident to fight again because they have the immortality. But that means that they might have to forego the Lord, which they need. Kyrie, look at this position. And by the way, okay, 
Owl wants to secure this purple buff. Who gets it? It's Albert. That's good for Albert for sure. Not in the sense that the plot needs it, but taking it away from the Nathan is actually pretty good. But just look at how fast he's taking the orange buff. That is the power of the Nathan. And even Kairi cannot stay in front of this Lord. Because if he gets hit, he gets hit by the plates I get from the Nathan. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'll activate the ultimate actually. Wants to defend top lane. They are learning from the lesson of game number one where they lost because of a fat wave of minions. This is like a Burnix Flash adjusting accordingly. <laughs> Look at how fast they take it. Kyrie might be too soon. But the hook coming from Keyboy catches two. They want to go for this one. Owl doesn't have to purify anymore. That's the green light for Boots. And they combine them for two. Ringo now with the immortality pump taken out. Eventually, Kyrie wants to go for the back lines. And then another hook coming out from the side of Keyboy. Oh my god. Keyboy and Boots. We talked about the fact that there has to be someone to take the, the, the Purify out. Wind of Nature is picked up. That's it. Onik recovers and will definitely take game number two and eventually the series. Troubleshooting 101 from the side of Onik. We mentioned 